food system we have developed in the EU over the past 50 years and since the launch of the Common Agricultural Policy is one that is now having major negative impacts we cannot ignore. Environmental impacts, of course, particularly the soil health that is challenged and the very large amounts of greenhouse gases that we emit as a result of our choices to develop food industrially. Um, we have also public health impacts um, with um, cheap um, food that is unhealthy, that particularly low-income groups depend on, leading to growing rates of obesity. We have impact on, on rural development, with uh, many small farms uh, disappearing and uh, a greater concentration um, um, amongst uh, big agri-business firms, um, making it very difficult for rural areas to, to develop and to, and to thrive. And finally, we are creating massive negative impacts in developing countries as a result of our export policies that is dumping cheap food on local markets in developing countries. The first reason for this is that we have different sectoral policies that affect production and consumption of food, but these policies are not well coordinated with one another and are not therefore mutually supportive. We have a common agricultural policy, we have a health policy and a consumer protection policy, we have an environmental policy, we have a trade policy, but this is not coordinated and the synergies that we could establish between these different sectoral approaches are missed as a result. Secondly, we need to move from the current system that is not sustainable to something far more sustainable. But to do this, we need a long-term vision and we need the short-term solutions that are developed to fit into a multi-year strategy that moves toward, uh, towards sustainable food systems. So we need a multi-year approach, a multi-year action plan to reform food systems in the EU and the only way to do this is to have a, a common food policy that is perceived as legitimate with very clear time frames and allocation of responsibilities across actors. One aspect of the debate around the common food policy is, uh, has to do with the legitimacy of European integration. For 50 years, European integration was premised on the idea that we needed to uniformize, to homogenize, to achieve uh, um, uh, uniformity on large markets and to encourage e efficiency through economies of scale. Today, the EU can reinvent itself, see diversity as an asset, as an advantage, rather than as a problem, and support local experimentation, local innovations, rather than, than discourage them. And the EU is given a chance to reinvent itself using food systems reform as the entry point. Cities today have a major role to play in allowing a shift to sustainable food systems. And that is why the Milan Urban Food Policy Pact uh, has been developed and why more and more cities are understanding that they have a, a critical uh, role to fulfill in, in this shift. The reason for this is that it is easier at city level to establish synergies between different sectoral policies and adopt an umbrella approach if you wish to to reforming food systems, it's also at that level that we can develop policies that are territorial, that build on the local resources, on the complementarities between cities and the rural hinterland, the, the rural uh, communes that surround the cities, and it is there that accountability, transparency, food democracy, in fact, can be established, connecting the, the policies developed by municipalities with um, representative bodies in which citizens can take a part. Cities have a network of schools, hospitals, that can source food locally to support local food producers to develop short food chains and encourage the local processing of agricultural products in order to develop local food systems. This has positive impacts for health, it has positive impacts for um, the environment because you can link um, the purchasing of food to sound sustainable agricultural practices and it has positive impacts for the local economy and for the ability for local actors, both local producers and local food processors, 
to thrive by having access to these markets. A network such as the network established by the Milan Urban Food Policy Pact uh, or C40 uh, or Eurocities, the 51 cities at European level who work inter alia on, on food systems, first of all can serve to exchange good practices and learn from one another, but also they can become the voice to um, encourage the EU to develop an approach to food systems that is much more territory-based, that allows for heterogeneity, that rewards and encourages diversity, and that instead of encouraging large-scale production, economies of scale um, for the European markets, encourage the relocalization of food systems, um, the building of, of local food systems um, on the basis of, of urban-rural linkages at the level of cities, and these cities can make a claim that the um, EU approach to, to food systems reform should change to encourage that diversity. There is a, a fantastic alliance that is now emerging to demand different food systems and actors who in the past were never working together, in fact were sometimes in conflict with one another, are now uniting their forces to demand something else. People coming from the public health sector, uh, people working on sustainable agriculture, environmental NGOs, people working in the development cooperation sector and in north-south cooperation, people working on uh, support for small-scale producers, family farms. Um, all these groups are now uniting their forces and discovering that they have a common stake in reforming food systems. And what's perhaps the most impressive is that anti-hunger groups uh, working on extreme poverty, working with low-income communities, now understand that the food systems that were meant to deliver cheap food are working against the interests of poor families. Poor families are the worst affected by low-cost food options, they are the worst affected by junk food becoming the default option for low-income families, and anti-poverty groups now understand that they must team with environmental NGOs, public health groups to change the system. Mm -hmm.